Okay, welcome back. You want to see some more? Well, as you wish. It's my turn now. So, hey, I've still got access to the magic fountain. That's not great. But I can go up to the, uh, the forest again. So that's pretty cool. I think I'll come up here and get one of these artifacts. Although, this is not particularly exciting. I don't pick up any gems along the way. If I go one, two, three, four, I could pay another buck and get two gems. Heck, I could get two reds. But I'd be throwing another gold away. But you know what? I mean, gold is an e a relatively easy thing to get because if you compete in the tournament, you can get three gold. If you pick up the right gems along the way, you can sell them for six gold. So, yeah, I'm going to do it again. I'm not going to go the quick and easy way. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And I will pick up a red and a red. And therefore, this has gotten emptied out again. It needs to get refilled. All righty. So, I'm just getting lots and lots of gems. Now I've got three different colors, so i got a 50-50 chance of beating the dragon if I go fight him. Plus, I've got swords that'll help me out if the roll doesn't go my way. And in the meantime, I've arrived over here, and I can get the uh, magic compass. Now, this is an interesting one. This one basically means I can, I think, if I recall correctly, I can teleport immediately to a mine. Let's look at that. The magic compass. Compass, compass, compass. Here's a list, a handy handy list of what they all are. If I can find it right. The active player can use it once on his turn to jump from one gem mine to any other, and it only costs one step. So, that's a way to get around really quickly. I think I like that. That's going to give me some flexibility later on. A new thing comes out. All right. Oh, and it's the magic knapsack, which basically, um, what does that do? The magic knapsack, you can use it to take all the gems from a mine. So, I mean, normally when you go through a mine, you only pick up one of the ones, although you pick up both if there's a curse. Uh, this would let you pick up two at once, so you can just really focus on getting a lot of gems. Now, um, here's the interesting thing. Remember, I've got this kiwi. For all intents and purposes, I mean, as soon as I got it, I could have gotten rid of it because it is a purple... No, a purple... So, for all intents and purposes, I've got a purple gem. Anytime I want, I can use this purple gem and duplicate the action I just did. So I picked up a magic call. I could throw this purple gem away now, the kiwi, to get another item, to get the magic knapsack. Yeah, what the heck, let's do it. All right, so that goes back in, and I picked this up as well. So that's going to let me pick up a double gem at some point in the future. And then that means, ooh, the rose comes out. Now remember, at the end of my turn, Jen, she's got all the elixirs. She's going to give me one of hers. Oops, not, yeah, her elixir. Because she wants to copy me because she will take this, boom. This magic rose, uh, kind of Beauty and the Beast style, is the first heart. Jen is now on the board. She's got her first of seven hearts. She just needs six more, plus some money. Booyah. Okay, so, uh, but now I can copy Jen again because she's giving me the elixir. I've got a lot of gems and uh, not much money, but we'll worry about that later. Jen's turn. What has she got up her sleeve? She can go to the jeweler. She can go to the dragon, the uh, thieves guild, or the sword master. Um... You know, I think she's going to go to the Thieves Guild again, because that was a... She could go this way, but she'll pick up a Cursed Gem. She'll go this way. One, two. So she's going to the Thieves Guild. Now that's that's kind of tricky, because it's um, tying her down. There's two dragons here. So she might run out of options. She might be forced to do the dragon before too long. But in the meantime, she's going to go on ahead and draw three and keep one. She doesn't want that Cursed Gem, so she's taking this red or this yellow. Um, let's see. I think... What is she thinking about? She'll take the red, because if she looks up here, remember at the merchant, a single blue is worth two bucks. A red and a green is worth four. Two reds and a green is worth six. So this is a way Jen can make a lot of money. So she's going to start trying to collect gems. And speaking of which, remember, Jen's got some purples. She could do this again right now. She could, um, so what the heck, she'll throw a purple away. Ah, shield is difficult. And she's going to do this action a second time. One, two, three. And hey, another red. Perfect. So, now Jen has two reds. Once she gets a green, she can come up here and she can sell them all for six bucks. Which means she'll have more than enough money to have completed that goal. Alright, so that was her turn. Now, uh, I can copy her. I can use that elixir and get another one. But I think I'm going to save that for now. Although, let's see, I need to think about what are my options. Hey, I can go to the magic forest again! Or I could get rid of a cursed gem, but I still don't have any. I could get some swords. I already have a couple. Or... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I am not going to copy Jem. I'm going to hold on to my elixir for now. I am going to go... Oh, by the way, a new artifact came out. See, it's the magic lantern that says, Hey, on your trip, you don't have to pick up any cursed gems. 
Where am I going? Uh, I am going to, man. Well, here's the thing. I want to use the wizard and pay a buck because the wizard lets you go anywhere, including one very special place, the magical tournament grounds where we can go and participate in nightly duels and jousts, which means we can if we come here, we can spend a sword to either get a heart or $3. And I've got a couple swords. And so this is the main thing you come up here. You convert swords into other stuff by competing and dueling and winning the affections of the prince or princess or making some cash. And the thing is, the only way to get up here is to have the wizard who lives, right? You can see there's his little uh, uh, his spyglass. He lives in this tower. He can teleport you here. This is the only way we can get to this space. But to get there, you got to pay a buck. But here's the thing. If I do this, if I pay a buck to get up here, I bet you Jen is going to give me an elixir so that she can piggyback off of me because then she will get to do this without having to pay a buck. So really, now is not a good time to do this. I want to wait to do this until Jen has no elixirs. Then I make the go uh, because she won't be able to piggyback off me and get to compete even though I paid to get there. So if I'm not going to do that, do I just want to go back and pick up another artifact? Um, hey, the way to avoid... Well, I'm not excited about those artifacts necessarily. Although, I would get to go one, two, three. I'd get to pick up another gem. Hey, I could get my fourth color gem. Then I wouldn't be scared of the dragon at all. See, also, that would be... Although, if I do this, that's giving me access. Then I've got two accesses to the wizard. Um, or, it, or I could go get some more swords. That would be what? One, two, three, four. Or one, two, three. Yeah, I could get... Yeah, let's just let's go get some swords. One, two, three. I get a couple more swords. So I got a lot of flexibility in the future. And um, you know what Jen says? Let's see here. Nope, Jen's not going to copy me. She's not going to give me her elixir. I was hoping she would because if she does, then that's when I make my move and teleport up there. But that's it. So now it's Jen's turn. She has access to the jeweler, the dragon, the merchant, but she doesn't have the green gem she needs yet, or the swordmaster. This is interesting. Um, anytime you want, uh, if you are at a space and that's an option, you can go on ahead and do that without moving. And what happens is you stand still, you just do the action. So Jen could activate the Swordmaster if she wants, but she would rotate the tower twice. So you can do a double rotate. And you know, I mean, if, if there's something on the other side of the tower you want to get to really quickly, that's a way to make it happen. Uh, because, you know, if, if Jen just uses the Swordmaster once, she's getting to the jeweler. That's not particularly exciting for her right now because she doesn't have the green gem she wants. Is it, Oh! Actually, and there's the green gem she wants, isn't it? Right. Ooh, because that's an interesting thing as well. If Jen wants to, she could, she I think can stand still and do this, or she could move around, in which case this will only rotate once. If she goes one, two, three, four, ah, if she did this full, ah, whoopsie, if she did this full loop, or, you know, or one, two, three, four, five, she'd have to pay two bucks, but she'd pick up the green she needs, so she'd have the two reds and the green, but she'd be throwing two bucks away to make four. That's a bit too expensive. What else can Jen do? Um, right, so it's to the merchant, which is way up there. She would really like to follow this road and pick up this green gem. She would really like to do that right now. Ah, what gems does she have? She does have a blue. Okay, yeah, I think Jen is going to use the jeweler. All right, and she's going to travel this way. One, two, three. And she picked up the green along the way that she wanted. And now at the jeweler, she can give a single, a double, or a two of a kind, or a three of a kind, a single, a pair, or three of a kind, to get a gold, a heart, or two hearts. Although if the three of a kind are green, she'd get three hearts. Now, Jen's going to give away this blue she's got. And uh, so that goes back in the cup, and that just gave her one gold. Because remember, she's planning on getting six gold up here. That's a seventh gold. She has all the gold. She has more than enough gold as soon as she makes that sale. Right. Okay. So she did that. Mo less to do this and more to get that gem that she really wanted. And now I could piggyback off her. I could give her this elixir because, hey, we've arrived at the jeweler. I've got three of a kind, and that would give me two hearts. But here's the thing. I would much rather do this once it's yellow. To make this die change, I have to go fight the dragon. And when I'm fighting the dragon, I can spend swords to re-roll this until I get the color I want. But you know what? I think I'm going to... I don't want to wait for that. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to copy Jen. I'm going to give her an elixir. And then that means I'm going to give up these three yellows I've been carrying for a while. One, two, three. Oop. Ah! Almost dropped it. One, two, three. And I just got two hearts. Jen's got one, I've got two. The race continues. Alrighty, and so I piggybacked off of Jen. Now it's her turn. What is she going to do? 
Dragon, Merchant, Merchant. Yeah, oh, yeah, Merchant, Merchant, totally Merch. All, mer all Merch, all the time. She's going to do the Merchant. Uh, so she needs to get up here. How is she going to walk? She could just walk straight up here, but that won't give me gems. She could go this way, but she'll get a Curse Gem, but she'll get another gem as well. Or she could go one, two, three, four, four. No, it's too far. She'll take a Curse Gem. She doesn't mind. One, two. She got both of these. That means it refills. And uh, she's at the Merchant. She will sell one, two, three, the two reds and a green, to make six gold. Boom. And now that's changed the market. Now it's a red, blue, and green to get six gold. The market's always changing. And so Jen just made six bucks. Jen's sitting on ten bucks behind her crazy little shield. Plus, she's still got this fast moving thing whenever she needs it. Wow. Um, all right, she can barely fit all that stuff behind her screen. Oh my. Okay. So now, I don't have an elixir anymore. I cannot copy her. Um, so I'm certainly not going to do that right now. My turn. I still have no cursed gems. I could pay the wizard to go to the thing. Or, well, okay, what are my options? I can pay the wizard. I can pay the wizard. I can fight the dragon. Or I can go to the magic. Or, remember, I've got some swords. I can spend swords to rotate these things to give me different options. Huh. <sighs> Like, like, if I give up a sword, I could rotate this so that I can basically come over, I can zip over here and get some more gems. But I, maybe, do I, do I want to fight the dragon? Do I want to fight the dragon? Well, I've only got two colors, so that gives me a 33% chance of success. Because uh, I just threw away all my yellows. But if I fight the dragon, I will pick up a yellow on the way. Yeah, what the heck. Let's do it, folks. Let us face the dragon. Alrighty. And which gave Jen access to the Thieves Guild. I'm going to go one, two, three along the way. I picked up a yellow. So I've got three colors. That means you've got to refill this area. All right, there's yellow and a blue. And now, the way it works is you take the die, you roll, and you have to give up a gem of the color you rolled. I just rolled a red. No problem, folks. I have a red. All right. And now this has changed the jeweler. It used to be the jeweler specialized in green. Now he specializes in red. You want to bring three of a kind red to him and get three hearts. So I beat the dragon on my first try. So you can see why having a lot of colors helps you out. And my reward? My third of seven hearts, folks. And now, does Jen want to copy me? I don't think so, because she doesn't have a lot of... She has one color. She has one yellow. She's not going to copy me at all. Now it is her turn. And what is she going to do? Get rid of a cursed gem. I know she picked one up. Go to the Thieves Guild. Get some more swords. Do the dragon. Or, let's see here. Now here's the thing. Jen knows I do not have any elixirs. So I can't copy her. Jen would very much like to go to the Proving Grounds right now. But the wizard is on the opposite side for her. So she can't get to the wizard unless she spends two swords. Plus another sword to come over here. Jen is not crazy about that. So I guess she's going to do something else. She doesn't have very many gems. She could go to the Thieves Guild and go one, two, three and pick up a gem. Yeah, that's what she's going to do. Back to the Thieves Guild. One, two, three. And she will pick up a... Blue, I think? Yeah. No, she'll pick up a red. Because if she can get three reds, she could pick up three. So she's going on a red hunt. She's going to try and draw and get a red if she can. One, two, three. Nope, I guess she'll take that yellow. It's better than a curse, gem. All right, and the curses go back. And that was her turn. And I can't copy her, so she's done. My turn again. And ah, I got this wizard. I got, all right, well, I guess I'm going to the sword master. Um, unless, again, I want to spend swords to change things, but I'm happy to go to the Swordmaster. More swords is never a bad thing. How would I get there? One, two, three, and I'd pick up a blue along the way. Or, yeah, so what the heck? One, two, three, I pick up a blue, which means this area has to refill. Now remember, anytime I want, for a single move, I mean, I, if, from this move I just made, I was over here, I could have, uh, I could have gone one to pick up these, and then two jumped over here and that or jump ooh, actually that's pretty cool hold on a second let's see if i can all right so what i just do I, I just went this way and was gonna pick up this one blue right but instead yeah let's use my magic power i'm gonna go this way one i'm gonna use my knapsack that lets me pick up both of these and then i'm gonna use my compass that lets me jump from one mine to another for a single step two three Boom! I just picked up three gems. I used both my magic powers. I picked up three gems, got my double swords. Yeah, baby! And that was pretty nice. I got a lot of gems, which, oh, you can never have two cursed on the, in the same space. So, 
Uh, there we go. And I got to refill both these areas. There we go. Ooh, a purple. And now, is Jen going to copy me? Is she going to get some swords? She can copy me, but I don't think she's going to. And, um, and unfortunately for Jen, she's bummed. I did not rotate a tower that got the wizard that much closer to her. She really wants to go to the wizard. Uh, um, right, anyway, so that was that. I got tons of gems now. I got another three of a kind. Although it's three yellows, I need it to be three reds. I'm tempted to go back and fight this dragon and use swords and keep re-rolling until he needs a yellow. I'll have to spend a yellow, but then I can pick up one more yellow from over here, and then I can, yeah, I'll get, yeah, that's a long-term plan. I think that's my plan. I'm going to be going to the dragon before too long, and I'm going to use all these swords to roll until he's weak against yellow, which will make this guy the guy I want him to be. So that was uh, my turn. Jen is not going to copy me, and now it's her turn, because she's just waiting. Well, okay, so apparently I'm never going to rotate these towers, so she's got to do it herself. Um, she is going to go on ahead and visit the wishing well. Uh, let's see, how, which is over here. So she can go one, two, three, and pick up a blue. Yeah, so she's go one, two, three, she picks up a blue. And the point of going to the Wishing Well is getting, Jen has two cursed gems. So she just got rid of one of them. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, it doesn't go back. Whenever you use a, the Wishing Well, that gem gets permanently removed from the game. All right, that gem is gone, man. Solid gone. So, that was her main turn. I can't copy her, and so she is getting herself closer to the wizard. All right, which is what she really wants to come over here. All righty, um, and now it is my turn. That gives me the wizard, me the, um, the Thieves Guild, the gems, or the merchant. I mean, heck, I could just come over to the merchant with my three yellows right now and get two more hearts, rather than my big plan of fighting the dragon and turning him. Man, I think I gotta do that. I just gotta, I gotta. And just like that, boom, I have given Jen access to her wizard. She's going to be happy about that. But in the meantime, I'm going to come over here to the jeweler. I can just go straight, but I don't pick up any gems along the way. Instead, I could go one, two, three. Let's go this way. One, two, three. I'll pick up one of these gems. Uh, what do I want to pick up? I'll pick up a blue, because I can see blues are needed to sell in the market. All right. And I'm going to come here. I'm going to give up three more yellows, just like last time I came here. And boom, I picked up two more hearts. I've got five of the seven hearts, folks. Although I've still only got two bucks. I need to save up some gems to make some money as well. Wow, I'm just making tons of jewelry. This is working out well. And now is Jen going to copy me? She's got two yellows, so she could get one heart. Yeah, I think she will. No, she won't. She won't. She won't. Because if she does... Right, she's not going to copy me, even though she could. She'd kind of like to, to get another heart to speed that up. But that's it. My turn's over. She's not going to copy me. Now it's her turn. She's going to use the wizard. It's going to cost her one of her many, many gold she's got. And she could teleport anywhere. She doesn't get to travel through mines. She's going to travel down here, where she will give up a sword to get a heart or three bucks. She's got plenty of money, so she's going to give up a sword to get her... She's only on her second heart, but she's got all the money covered. I've got most of the hearts covered. And now, if I could, since she had to pay to get in here, I wish I had an elixir to give her so that I could do this as well, but I can't. After the tournament's over, we move back out here, and now we are ready to go again. I missed my shot. I would have been able to get in here for free, which is important because I'm totally broke. But I am saving up. In fact, actually, yeah, I'm set. I've got the three I need for the six. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, so that was Jen's turn. She just got her second heart. Does she have a purple? Yes, she does. By the way, while she was here, she spent her other purple gem to do this twice. And she gave up another sword. So she got her third heart. So Jen's got three hearts and like nine bucks. I've got five hearts and only two bucks. Remember, it's a race to seven and seven. And now it is my turn. I've got, I could go get another magic item. I could pay a buck um, to go to the wizard. Uh, I could go get some more gems from the Thieves Guild. Or, well, again, I still have no cursed gems. So what am I going to do? Well, you know what? I think I'm going to stop. Because that should give you guys a pretty good idea of how Turia works. It's a fast game. You just zip, zip, zip. You're constantly moving around. Uh, race against time. And then once you get all your stuff and you go back to the castle, you've got this crazy extra game going on. Actually, I should explain how it works. Basically, once I have my 7 and 7, I reveal to everybody... And I have no cursed gems, because remember, you can't have any cursed gems. I reveal to everybody, look, this is what I got. And I take my family crest... And I put it over here at the chapel. That means I have effectively left 
the adventuring party. And now, while they, every, all the other players, still on their turns, just move around like you've been doing all throughout, trying to catch up with me, I am now over in the castle thematically. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to find the prince and princess. They are hidden behind one of these randomly shuffled up doors. So when it, on the turn when I do this, I say, I'm looking for the prince and princess. Is she behind door number one? No. There's a green gem. Now, <clears throat> what that means is, uh, my turn is over unless I've got a green gem. At the end of the game, let's say I did have a green gem, I could spend it, and that means I could try to open another door. Behind door number two! No, a blue gem. Oh my gosh, I have some blue gems left over. So you can see why at the end of the game, it's good to go into the castle with more stuff in hand, because you might need it to help you search. So I spend a blue, I get to look behind door number three! A sword! Oh my gosh! I have a sword. Now, of course, at the end of the game, I wouldn't have all this stuff. I would have, because I would have burned through all this stuff to get my last few things. But so let's say at this point, I didn't have any swords. Uh, and then, so my turn is up. I searched through three doors. I gave up some resources. I did not find them. Then all the other players get to take a turn like normal. And you know, because they're trying to catch up, they're trying to get their last heart, their last money, so they can come searching as well. And then when it comes back around to me, hey, I'll do a search again behind door number four. No, it's a yellow gem. I don't have any yellow gems. That was my whole turn. I still didn't find them. There's one, two, three, four, five places they could be. Everybody else gets to go around. And maybe by that point, Jen's gotten all of her stuff, so she gets to do the search as well. And she says, door number six. No, it's a red gem, and uh, Jen doesn't have a red gem because she spent her last gems to get the last jewelry she needed. And then it's my turn. Okay, a door number seven. I found them, and I win. So, at the end of the game, there's this cool little, if you carried in a lot of extra goods, which like I said, if you're racing, you won't, because you will have used up most of your goods trying to, you know, make jewelry, or fight the dragon, or compete in tournaments, or whatever you needed to get there as fast as possible. So if you get there before everybody else, you've got a 1 in 9 chance of finding them, and then a 1 in 8, a 1 in 7, a 1 in 6. And that is a very, very neat little catch-up mechanism that everybody else can use to catch up, because, you know, after I'd done a search when Jen eventually got here, she had a much better chance of finding them. Um, although she didn't, and then I found them, and so that triggered the end of the game. And now that, folks, is how Turia works. And if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner of the screen, or follow the show notes in 543-543-543-2-1.